Hey everybody, welcome to Dad's Den of Pop Culture. Uh, we have a probably a pretty short video today. I wanted to show off this delightful little knockoff that I got recently. From what I can find, it comes from Mexico. I got it on the Goodwill auction site. And in the, uh, the picture that I saw, it looked very much like one of the smaller little uh, parachute characters you'd get in rack toys once upon a time. And nobody bid on it. So I thought, well, what the heck? Might as well give it a shot. See if I get lucky. And uh, so I put in the minimum bid and lo and behold, I got it. And when I got the actual toy delivered, the box was rather large. Opened it up, and what do I find? But rather than a small little character, this nice, big, crazy-looking, incredible Hulk. Here is the Mego Hulk for size comparison. So, let's take a look at this. I have no idea how old this is. I managed to find... Um, an ex a similar toy online on eBay. And it was the uh, 1989 era Batman, full black costume, also with the, with the parachute. Now you'll see he's got this string around his neck and the string does go in to the shoulders. Because for a moment I thought, oh, maybe this was just a blow mold Hulk and somebody just sort of strapped a parachute to him. But no, it is sort of, sort of integrated into the design. You see the parachute strings attach. It looks to me like it's not terribly old. So I don't think this is necessarily a vintage toy. Again, it is a blow mold, so thin plastic. I cannot imagine that these particular toys have survived long in uh, in the wild, um, and there are some interesting interesting things to find here. So we got the shorts, and you could sort of see in the blow molding what looked to be like at, at first glance. It looks like oh well, the the short the, that's like a rolled up pant leg, but it's not because if you look at the foot, there's like two toes. You look at the hand. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle hand and leg. Now, the other one, I think, probably is too. Yeah, because you can see there's like two, there's like two, you know, fingers there. So, we have this muscular body with the belt that I have a feeling could have been used for, like, professional wrestlers. Because I did see some professional wrestler designs that looked similar. And that was the first thing I'd thought was, oh, maybe these were like the uh, the elbow pads on professional wrestlers until I noticed the hands. Now, the face, man, it could be Incredible Hulk, but it could also just be almost any, like, you can almost even be a Frankenstein sort of character if you wanted. It's in green plastic. It has the hair painted on. So you have this, well, speaking of Frankensteins, you got this real Frankenstein monster of a toy, um, half half Hulk, half Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, which would have probably also been green, uh, you know, plastic, blow molded. So somebody put these together. Now you can see there's five points of articulation. The arms move, although I'm very careful because you can see there's already sort of a separation there at the shoulder. But the arms do move up and down. I had the arms up since it was doing the parachuting bit, um, you know, you want to, you don't, you don't want your blow molded Hulk parachuter to look stupid. Obviously when you display it, you got to put his, you got to put his hands up. So it looks like he's really skydiving. I mean, geez, that'd be ridiculous. Um, but you also have the legs that move a little bit and the head does move a little bit one way or the other too. So five points of articulation, Blow molded plastic. This could be brand new for all I know. This could be 30 years old. Yeah, I don't think it would look that much different. You could tell the paint is chipping. But it was too goofy an item for me to pass up. I do have a certain love 
of knockoff sort of toys, uh, you know, unlicensed stuff. Oh. So not too long ago, I also came into possession, um, and I do believe this one was uh, from Mexico as well, of a Transformer knockoff based upon this dude right here. Whoops, oh, we're getting a little blurry. There we go. So also somewhat cheaper plastic, some pretty cool stickers. Uh, I love this, this sort of gun that he has. Um, the idea being that when he transforms, this gun will fit on top of him, you know, but he doesn't do much in the way of transforming. He has, you know, so you should be able to sort of back him up. Let's, you know what? what the hell with it. Let's, let's do this right. Hulk, slide over a little bit. I'm going to let this magnificent bastard do his thing. Now, with these original toys, the idea was, <laughs> there we go. The idea was that you... Flip them over, and they'd lock, okay? And then, whoops, you can see, you can you could feel the quality. Okay, let's move them over here. And then you could pull this guy back and let him go, and he would go way faster than that, and at a certain point would, would flip and, you know, transform back into normal. And there's a little catch in there that you probably can't really see from any angle. Yeah, you really can't. That would release him. Oh, good Lord, I just lost a little bit of his groin, uh, groin assembly. We're going to have to glue that on. Um, I don't know if I could get this guy. There you go. So he flipped out. Okay, so that was the idea between the, with these characters. There were a couple of them. The one had the... Um, had the little drill bits on them, and then this is the other one. So um, that was the idea, that you could race him across the floor, and he would leap up and land on his feet complete. Now, this guy does have the wheels on him. Now, he is not designed. Okay, so this is one of the ones where you just push it forward, and it'll roll a little bit and make some noise. And then take this thing off. And you do the transforming uh, yourself. Anyways, another knockoff toy. I love the design on this guy, though, the colors. I love this little gun turret thing that he has, which would have kind of been cool for the other dude. Um, or, or at least if there was a way for the other guy to um, to attach the, the, the gun to some form, you know, to him when he was in his little spaceship form anyways just wanted to show off this hulk fun little knockoff toys unlicensed and this guy's a real crazy assemblage of half teenage mutant ninja turtle half hulk uh which hey maybe there's a crossover there for uh, for marvel and whoever has the turtle license right now then again maybe not uh, but just shows you know that the knockoff and the unlicensed stuff Sometimes there's a tremendous amount of, of creativity there with these toys. It's a warped creativity, but it's oftentimes, oftentimes more fun than the official merchandise. And it often has an interesting little story behind it. So there you go. Quick video today to show off a silly little toy. And I didn't plan on it, but we'll show this guy off as well. He showed up in a really old video of mine, but uh, glad to have him back. I'm a big fan. What do you think, folks? You got any knockoff toys of your own? Here, while well, we got him sitting here, let's pull the Hulk in. Let's put this dude in. Let's bring the whole whole group in together for a nice shot. Maybe they can have a group hug, group hug afterward. But what do you think? Are you a big fan of knockoff toys? Did you have any of these? Do you have any of these? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. Maybe think about subscribing. Maybe share with a friend who you think might enjoy it. I really appreciate that as it really helps my little goofy channel grow. Until next time.
God bless everybody. Please be kind to one another. Have a little fun out there. And I'll see you hopefully soon in Dad's Den of Pop Culture. Bye-bye.